So I have shared a number of tutorials on masking, and there are also track mats in Create Studio. Um, and <laughs> I'm going to schedule this to post on New Year's Eve, so I have some party stuff, some fireworks. These are not going to be truly inspired videos. I'm just going to show you a few ways you can do it. I know how to use them. I don't know how to use them to their greatest advantage. I'm trying to learn some of that by viewing some of the scenes and templates that Create Studio has provided for us. But I thought I would share just a few ways that you can do track mats. So I'm going to ungroup this one first so I can show you right here what I did is I did track mats on the text. And I don't know why when I use the scroll bar, it's not showing the underneath. I don't, I don't understand why that isn't happening. But I did add, just for something in the background, I added some glitter from, I just, I think it was this one. I just added some glitter and these two here at the bottom, I have those hidden because I actually had it for just an, oh no, those aren't hidden. That actually is the image of, I do have them hidden. That's an image that I had of some people having a little party <laughs> just to add something else to it. But then I thought maybe it was too much. So I removed the the image. And what I used for the track mats isn't the best, but I have something better next time. So all this is, is I typed out Happy New Year. I made a simple um, animation to bring it in. And then I used loop. Right here is the loop swing, the rotation swing by letter, just to add a little something to it. But the track map part was I used one of the backgrounds. So if you go to backgrounds, into the categories, I just grabbed one of the gradients. So clearly for New Year's Eve, that's not necessarily the best um, gradient to use, but that is what we have right now. So if you see right here, this little image, this little icon image right here shows that I have a track mat. So let's open that up. What I did is I selected the gradient background and then I masked it with the happy new year text. Let me do that with this one that I just added. I'm going to go down here to track mat. I'm going to mask. I have a lot of stuff here. Happy New Year. So now let's hide this one so that we don't have both of them. And you can see that I just very quickly added the gradient background into the text. And it doesn't, you. It very quickly and easily masks that. I again have the glitter background. We can hide these again. And then it's just the glitter. Again, not inspired, but it is what it is right now. Now, what I also did, let me open this one. For this one, I wanted to try to get a little bit of a better because I didn't really like the gradient as a Happy New Year type of thing. So what I did is I went in and I got a video under particles. So I'm gonna go back to all the categories of the backgrounds. Let's do that again, backgrounds, all categories. And then I went to particles. And does this tell me which particle I got? I think it might have been this one. I can't quite remember. I tried a few different ones. But let's just... It actually... That I haven't downloaded. Um, 
It might have been this one. So let's just grab that one. And what I did with this is something a little different. So I did the same thing. I did the track mat. I masked the text with Luma and it was not inverted. So I'm going to bring this in. I am going to go to track mat. I am going to do Happy New Year. I'm not sure which one. Oh, good. I think that's the one. Nope. Um, so I have to do the other one. I didn't label them well because I was doing, there we go. I was doing different cut and paste. So here, that doesn't look so bad, right? And I can also select the particles and I can kind of resize it to see if there, whoop, to see if there's a different color that may be, I'm just going to get rid of that one because it was too long. Um, maybe I want to move it around a little bit. I'm going to lock the text so I can grab this. I can move it around. I can resize it to get the different colors that I want. You can do all of that. But as you notice, that looks different than the black and white version of it. And the reason why that looks different, I'm going to hide that, is because I went in, then I went to blend mode, and I have to find, it was luminosity. So I used a combination of this. I kind of looked through these and said, what might look a little bit more festive? I liked that one. Then I looked through more. Those aren't too bad, but this doesn't look too bad either. But I kind of liked the darker gray version of it. So that's how I ended up with that is now the way that I formatted that I would definitely have to, you can't see the letters as well. Again, I don't know why when I use the scroll bar, it's not showing at all, so I have to keep playing. So I want to definitely find a way to make those look a little better. But let me show that. So here is the one that I had. So the letters were a little bit more, well, maybe not. So you're definitely going to look at what you do for the backgrounds, but I made these pretty quickly just so I could show you how to do some of these. So in this case, I used track mat and then I used blend for the luminosity. If I didn't have it, it would look like that, which doesn't look bad. Now, the next one that I did was I showed you how to do an animated mask and move it around. You can also do that with track mats. So let me open this group up. And here what I did is I made a circle and animated that going up and then expanding. And what I did is I did a track mat on a video that I found in Pexels or it was um, Pixabay. I can't remember which one I did. It might have been Pexels. I just looked for a very quick one that you could find as well. So here I animated the circle. So let's do that really quickly. I'm going to delete these animations and I am going to get rid of this track map. So here I added a circle. Let me get another one because it's already a little bit because it was already used as a mask. Um, it already was um, opaque. The opacity was down. So I'm going to put this down here. 
And what I did is I animated it by position and scale, easing. I probably use linear. I had it come up. And then I added another animation for scale, moved my end keyframe to the end of where I wanted it to go, and then I just scaled it up so that it would show it all. But now, as you can see, the circle is right in the way. We need to track map that. So I just want to make sure I can find this. So I'm going to put circle star star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this video. I'm going to go down to track map. I'm going to mask with circle star star. And let me just make sure I'm going to put that right to the beginning. And now it opens up. My timings are a little different. It's definitely not centered, but I did that really quickly. The other thing that I did for this circle is I didn't really like these harsh lines. Right? These are kind of harsh. So what I did is I went up to effects and components. I got blur. I dropped it onto the circle. And then I just blurred the edge a little bit. So it wasn't quite so stark and harsh. And so it kind of looks a little bit better. So that's another way that you can do an animated mask. I can also then, if I move this a little bit over here, I can then also add another scale animation that might be um, scaling all the way down. So I'll go to the end keyframe and then say I want to scale it down to nothing. So it kind of goes away. I'm going to make sure that gets a little bit bigger again. So let's watch that. Now the clip is so short, so I clearly that would not be a good video, but those are some of the effects you can do. You can also move it from left to right. So here, if we want to make it position, we can still, I'm going to take off scale. So the position, I could then say move it over here to see whatever is in that corner. Yep. Don't have it too long, but you can see that it very quickly moves over there. So there's all sorts of things you can do to move your mask around. And come on, how fun is it that you can also mask characters? So this was just the bear. I went up to our characters, got our fun bear, dragged him onto the canvas. I resized him to what I wanted. Then say I'm going to add the juggling. Let's make them laugh this time. We can make them. I don't know how that will look. I'm going to hide this one. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this there star star so I can find him. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the track mat and I am going to mask bear bear. There he goes. And there he goes laughing. Now the gradient and everything doesn't really make sense for this, but you could also, I tried to do it with the glitter, but it didn't really fill the whole, um, I tried the glitter on the words too, but it doesn't fill the whole outline. So it was not a good choice. You really do, you'll have to experiment on what would fill this so you can still see the outline of either the text or this character, and then that would work. Now, very quickly, I also took a green screen and then used 
not track mat this time. I did use track mat on the same thing, but I definitely liked the view of this one. So what I did is I went up to Pexels and I got a little, little green screen character. I'm gonna hide this. And then what I did, as you can see, I had this underneath and I moved it to the top because if I click on the video, we're gonna to go to blend mode and you see I have it on color. If it was none, it, I would just see the whole video or underneath I would see the green screen. So here, I didn't really like multiple overlay. If I did this one, it took away um, some of it, but I didn't totally like that one. And I just experimented. This is the same thing as what the, what the original looked like. The luminosity in this case doesn't make sense. The color does, hue does. If you want it to be the background, this can change some of the lighting. You can just go and play around with whatever you want. And so it's always, let's try the hue. And that way you can just put it as part of your green screen. Now, let me get rid of this for a second. You also, just very quickly, we do have a green screen removal in Create Studio. And you can go up here. Let me just move that so we can see it. So we can go to the green screen. We can select the green. And you can see it still has some of an outline. So you're gonna play around with these different values, the smoothness, the spill. You're gonna play around with some of those. And then you can get rid of that green screen. And that is showing the glitter that we had. which is kind of cool for New Year's Eve, right? Um, or you can just do the track mat. I'd have to remove that green screen again, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then I am going to go back to the blend mode. So those are just a few different options of track mat. I am not an expert in track mat. There are some amazing things you can do. I know how to use it. I don't know how to use it to its best advantage. So play around with it and hopefully you will share some examples of what you've done with it.